Well, I'm not real crazy about going in here, but what I'm going to do, I put a post on Facebook yesterday where I was talking about an experience I had, and I was trying to warn my buddies who hunt out here to be careful because there's something out here that I think is going to hurt you. And I'm going to try to explain that a little better. But what I do is I come out here and I look for deer tracks <clears throat> in a good place, maybe scrapes or something. And I'll get up a tree with a climbing stand and I'll hunt that area. And that's what I was doing out here. Well, this is a, a trail that goes into Long Swamp. And usually it's covered with deer tracks. So as I started down it, the first thing I noticed, I don't see any deer tracks this year, which was really odd. So as I came down it, I ran into this area here, and I'm not I'm not going any farther than this. This is where I seen the first territorial markings. And what happened was I came to this and I noticed what it was and I it didn't worry me, so I kept on going. I'm going to show you the first markings that I came to, and this is what it looks like. Now, if you'll notice, there's trees down all over the ground. You can see these things are all broke off. And it's a little strange because I've seen a lot of bear where they'll lean stuff over. And when they lean stuff over, They'll get food off of it, but these things are ripped apart and thrown down in the middle of the trail. And if you'll look, it went up this tree and it snapped these trees off. Now, if you can see these, these trees are broke off. First thing I thought was maybe the wind or something came through and broke them off. But then as I looked closer at them, You can see claw marks all over these trees. I don't know if you can see them or not, but there's claw marks. So usually, if it's a bear, you'll see four fingers where they actually scrape a, the bark off the tree to mark their territory. But whatever this was, it actually broke the top out of the trees and ripped them off. So those are broke off probably I'm five feet nine, so they probably broke off about eight or nine feet in the air. And then the limbs was thrown down on the ground here, as you can see. So what happened was, when I seen this, I didn't think much about it because I'm not afraid of bears. Usually they'll run from you. But I went down about 30 more yards. I found another one. And when I found that one, I realized that this thing has marked his territory through here but it still didn't bother me so it gets real thick ahead of me and I went about another 75 or 100 yards and the myrtle bushes like you see behind me get real tall up over my head but I kept going <clears throat> and what happened was all of a sudden I heard this scream I don't know if it was a scream or a roar or what it was, I can't explain it. It was really loud, very loud. And it was about 75 yards from me, and I was in thick cover. And so what I did was I stopped, took my rifle down just in case. I didn't know what it was. I waited about 30 seconds, and it did it again, this unbelievable roar. It wasn't a bear, wasn't a hog. I don't know what the hell it was. But I can't explain it. It was real deep, extremely loud. So I stopped and I waited. Two or three minutes later, I heard the Palmettas crashing about 75 yards from me, coming to me. It sounded like a cow coming through the Palmettas. It was extremely loud. So I took my rifle down. Now this is black powder, only got one shot. So I took my rifle down as this thing came toward me. It was getting louder and louder and it was in myrtle bushes. It was about head high from me. So I couldn't see it, see it till it got probably 40 yards to me. And then I looked out across the myrtle bushes. I don't know what the hell it was. It wasn't a bear. But I can tell you this, it was on two feet. It was walking upright. And it had to have been seven or eight feet tall for me to see it coming at me over the myrtle bushes. It got about 40 yards from me. And this thing, the way it was doing it, it was on two feet 
coming at me. It wasn't running. It was kind of wobbly walking fast anyway or whatever. And what happened was I could see it as it was coming to me. Its arm was going like this, like it was pushing stuff out of the way. That started getting me really spooked. As it came to me, it was pushing weeds with both arms like this, walking upright. And when I seen it, it kind of had, it was jet black, but the hair on the head was real short. And I couldn't really, and the whole thing was two seconds. When the face on it was black. I couldn't really see details, but I can tell you it didn't have a snout. It didn't have a nose like a bear or a coyote or anything. It didn't have a snout. It was flat. But I really couldn't see much detail, and it was tall, and it was kind of wobbly walking toward me. It scared the hell out of me. I didn't want to shoot. If I had one shot and wounded it, I could be in bigger trouble if, you know, I don't know. It scared the hell out of me, and I took off. As I was going out, I got to my truck. I could still hear it coming down this trail to me because it's thick. And when it got to me, it stopped. Well, I was out at my truck, I was on the other side of my truck, and what I was going to do, if it come out, I was going to shoot it, or decide if I wanted to shoot it or not. It stopped. It never came out. It didn't want to come out in the open, so I waited, I don't know, maybe five or ten minutes. Finally, I was glad it was all over with, because I've, I've hunted out here 30 years. I know all about this place. I've been all over it. I've never seen trees ripped in half eight or nine feet in the air. It's just not a bear. I saw it. It wasn't a bear. The funny thing is, to really make this whole story a little weird, I took my rifle off my shoulder. I walked around my truck, and when I laid it on the seat, the barrel of my rifle had blood all over it. And I was trying to figure out where the blood came from, and I looked at my shirt. I took my shirt off. I didn't have no blood on me. No blood on my shirt. I didn't have a cut anywhere, but there was blood on my rifle barrel stuck up. So the only thing I can figure, as I was going through the bush bushes, I got blood on my gun barrel. I don't know. Now, maybe this thing is wounded. I don't know. Maybe it, it, had, it killed something and was carrying it through and got blood up above my head. I don't know. Maybe I come up on it when it had, I don't know. Only thing I'm telling you, this is no damn hoax. And if anybody wants to pay me to get a polygraph, I'll take it. And the only reason I'm even saying anything, because I got four or five guys who hunt out here are close friends of mine. And if they run into this, this thing will not run from you. It will come to you. It will hurt you. Uh, and that's the name of this tune. But... I don't play games. I'm a real hunter. I've hunted out here 25 years. Never had this happen before. But this thing was coming to me. It wasn't running like most wild animals would do. And that's it.